Sup, y'all, bring you guys in that video. So, yeah, let's bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Raymond Ford and uh, Aaron Perez. They fought in the undercard of the rematch between Chocolatito and Estrada. Fight was shown live on the zone. Actually, you can watch the highlights here on YouTube at uh, the zone's official YouTube channel at uh, the zone boxing. And uh, you can watch the highlights here. And, um, yeah, fight went the distance. Fight was scheduled for eight rounds. It went the whole eight rounds. And it ended up being a draw. Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, I'd like to apologize for the late upload. Um, I was out of town the past few days, and that's the reason why I haven't uploaded any videos, any boxing videos. Uh, but I did watch this fight when it was happening, and I thought it was a pretty close fight, honestly. I thought uh, Perez did a very good job in moving forward, putting under pressure, and making Ford think and work inside that ring. Perez did a very good job. He, he went out there, and he uh, definitely... Uh, impress some people now going to this fight i was picking raymond ford to win um you know he was the a side he's the guy that the uh, matchroom and the zone are trying to promote um you know and he's the guy that i've been watching more compared to perez and you know i always thought you know watching ford i was like man this guy's gonna be a future champion and that's one of the reasons why i chose him to win and then you know, Perez went out there and you know, made him look pretty bad, man. I mean, I gotta give props to Perez because he honestly arguably won this fight. You can argue that he won. He that uh, if you prefer the aggressiveness, the roughness from Perez, you could have given it to him. There were some really close rounds in there. One judge had it for him, 78-74. The other judge had it 77-75 for Ford. And one judge had it a draw. But yeah, Perez arguably won this fight. And at the same time, Raymond arguably won this fight too, in my opinion. Um, but I thought it was a draw. Honestly, I had it 4-4. Um, you know, it, it's a fight for, for both young fighters, for, for both young undefeated fighters to learn from and improve from, and hopefully one day run it back again, maybe in a year or two. You know, why not, right? Let's say in a year, maybe Ford has a couple fights under his belt, uh, and same goes for Perez, they would be more experienced, and let's see who has improved more, and whoever wins will move on to bigger and better fights. You know, Perez really showed a lot of heart and determination in this fight. He showed up with the determination and the hunger to get that win and remain undefeated. And he he really made Ford... I mean, I'm surprised Ford took some really good shots in there too. Um, you know, clean shots. You know, I always thought Ford had better defense than that. So it goes to show that, you know, maybe his defense needs more work on. So, you know, hopefully he can learn from that in the future and apply that in the next fight and... Maybe improve on his defense. And same goes for, for uh, Perez. You know, he, he was getting hit some really good shots moving forward. I mean, he was reckless at times. But at the same time, I mean, that's what gave him those rounds. He was very aggressive and willing to exchange and let his hands go. Now, I, I'm looking at the highlights and um, I'm reading some comments. And it seems like most people, at least who've commented, thought that Perez won. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't watch the highlights, to be honest. I mean, I watched the fight when it happened. Um... I, mean, I guess maybe the highlights just showed more of Perez working because he was the more of the aggressor. He was the one letting his hands go. But I, I liked I liked the movement from Raymond early on, the way he was boxing. But obviously, you know, Perez uh, made it tough to score, man. There, there, was, there really were some close rounds. So hopefully a rematch sometime down the line. But right now, I don't think they need to fight each other right away. Again, right away. They can do, you know, they can... Try to improve on the record, fight a couple fights, fight a few fights, and then a rematch in 2022 maybe, or 2023. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.